I'm going to try and get this in one take. This is the exit of the line. That's a garden hose that goes up to 60 feet. Currently the pump is producing slightly more than 2,000 gallons in 24 hours at 60 feet. That's the rotary seal and a pillow block with a inch and a half water pipe through it. The half inch pipe runs through the center of it. I've got it wedged in place with blocks of wood and goes into one inch uh, black tubing for irrigation. It's about 300 feet of irrigation hose or 400 feet of hose that, that gives about three rows in the center, it takes up about two feet. The framework is set up to have it between the paddles and on the outside is a 3 8 inch rebar that holds the paddles, helps hold the paddles in place and gives it strength. The inner frame is half inch rebar and there's a piece of 5 8 inch rebar that runs across for the axle. Wrapped around the pipe, I have 3 8 inch rebar because that's a weakness and tends to break those welds. On the other side, if we look through here, there's a 3 quarter inch pillow block on the other side that a 5 8 inch rod runs through. We'll step back a little bit. We'll follow the the scoop. The scoop is three inch ABS plastic. And you'll notice there's a little black three eighth or eighth inch hose out of it. When it dips down into the water, air comes out that hose and allows that to completely fill. When it reaches the end, a little bit of water comes out. It picks up currently a little right at a quart, maybe a little bit more, close to two pounds of water. As that goes through, it compresses, it traps an equal amount of air. And when it goes through, you'll notice on here, you'll get a little bit of air come through, followed by a slug of water. That air is compressed about four times. As it goes up the 5 8 inch line, that air expands and helps lift the water. The older design here, I ran the tubing on the inside of the framework, and so your diameter is considerably smaller. It also runs about 400 feet of one inch pipe, and the the problem with it is that it has to go at a higher RPM to achieve the same amount of flow. You'll notice that I've switched sides on my exit. The reason I had it on the other side, left side, was because it would unscrew itself. This one here, I put a retainer in. You'll notice that it's I've got a piece of wire in there drilled into the hole to keep it from unscrewing. So far I haven't had any problem, but I haven't run it that long. That's the new wheel. I hope it works. It's considerably heavier and stronger than the one before. Another thing that's important is the kicker at the bottom, which maintains the right height of the water. If that water does not completely fit, cover that pipe or, and give it enough time to completely fill, less water is scooped up and then you're, you're not able to get as much height out of the pump. That's the new wheel and thank you very much.